It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Baltimore, Maryland, 2015 is the year I will never forget in my home state. What happened was that a black guy apparently died at the hands of a cop and people got sick and tired of the injustice of what happened in Baltimore. And as soon as the news reached television stations, the reactions were basically like this. The main reason why I brought up the Baltimore riots is because this story is very similar to what happened in Baltimore, Maryland. What happened was that a street vendor was running away from a cop and then all of a sudden the guy collapsed and he had a heart attack because he was running away from the police officer. And as soon as the black immigrants heard about this story in Madrid, Spain, they decided to destroy cars and put buildings on fire. You know, the more I look at footage of people doing riots, they totally do not act like fucking animals every single time they do that kind of shit. Seriously, who is the bright person who's thought that destroying shit and putting stuff on fire is gonna solve any sort of issue? Maybe it's me, but putting stuff on fire and destroying stuff will actually grow the tension between police officers and citizens. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, that the guy who died from the heart attack did in fact die because of the cop. That is still no excuse to destroy stuff and put stuff on fire. Wait for the evidence, then ask for justice as soon as you see the evidence of what happened to that person. Not to mention, there are some people on Twitter who believe that the guy's death was the result of institutionalized racism. La muerte de Mame Mbaye Ndiaye no es una muerte más, sino que es otra víctima del racismo institucional. However, based upon the evidence of the autopsy, it shows that the guy's health was already deteriorating before he had the heart attack. What kind of institutionalized racism requires a person to have failing health beforehand before dying from running away from a police officer? In conclusion, violence is not the answer, destroying shit is not the answer. And if you do, in fact, think that those things are in fact the answer, well guess what? Fuck you! It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.